Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be not ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat. Postman Pat was finishing his rounds. His last call was to the Reverend Timms. Hello, Pat. Oh, good. My parcel has arrived. Thank you. You do look tired today. Time to go home and put your feet up. Yes, you're right. I am tired. But not as tired as the time I couldn't sleep for a whole week. Not long ago, in the middle of the night, I was tossing and turning in bed. I can't sleep, I said. Make a cup of tea, said Sarah. So I did. I still couldn't sleep. The next day was Monday.
I had some letters for Mrs. Pottage. Have a cup of tea, said Mrs. Pottage. Thanks, I said. I fell asleep in the chair. Suddenly a dog barked. Oh, whew. it woke me up. It was Peter Fogg's dog. <laughs> oh dear, I said. Did I fall asleep? The trouble is, I'm very tired. I can't sleep at night. I count sheep, said Peter. Then I sleep like a log. That night, I counted 500 sheep. 491, 492, 493, 494, 495, 496, 497, 498, 499. <clears throat> but I was still awake. The next day was Tuesday. I had some letters for Miss Hubbard. Hmm, you look sleepy, she said. I am, I said. I can't sleep at night. I know what you need, said Miss Hubbard. Have a glass.
glass of my best rhubarb wine at bedtime. She gave me a bottle. Thanks, I said. The wine made my tummy rumble. <clears throat> the noise woke me up, and Sarah too. On Wednesday, I had some letters for Granny Dryden. I was so sleepy, I had to stop for a snooze. You were late, said Granny Dryden. <sighs> Just look at the time. Sorry, I said. I had to stop for a snooze. I can't sleep at night. Put a bag of lavender under your pillow, said Granny Dryden. It always works. <laughs> the lavender had a lovely smell. I put the lavender under my pillow. I went to sleep. The lavender made me sneeze. That woke me up again. The next day was Thursday. There was choir practice at the church. Oh. 
I was singing in the back row. But I fell asleep. Someone poked me, and I woke up. Oh! You were asleep, Pat, said Dr. Gilbertson. Sorry, I said. I can't sleep at night. Mm-hmm. Have a hot bath before you go to bed, said the doctor. <sighs> so I had a hot bath. I went to sleep. Then I had a strange dream. I dreamt I was falling. Ooh. Ah! Help! I shouted. That woke Sarah. And Julian. And Jess. Man didn't know what to say. No. On Friday, I read Julian a bedtime story. I shouldn't really be here. You're not supposed to see me. I'm invisible. He went to sleep. You see. That's what you need, said Sarah. What? I said. A bedtime story. Said Barnaby. Mabel put At bedtime, Sarah read me a story. I saw you in the shop. The waiter looked up. The shop, said Barnaby. I went to sleep. And I didn't wake up at all. On Saturday, I felt much better. That story was good, I said. But how did it end? What a tiring week, Pat.
Yes, but I'm back to normal now. It was a tiring week, wasn't it? Can you remember what I did each night to help me get to sleep? On Sunday, Sarah said, Make a cup of tea. I still couldn't sleep. <clears throat> On Monday, Peter said, I count sheep. I counted 500 sheep. 492, 493, 494, 495, 496. I was still awake. On Tuesday, Miss Hubbard said, Hmm, I know what you need. Have a glass of my best rhubarb wine at bedtime. It made my tummy rumble mm -hmm. and woke me up. <coughs> On Wednesday, Granny Dryden said, Put a bag of lavender under your pillow. I put the lavender under my pillow and went to sleep. The lavender made me sneeze <laughs> and woke me up again. On Thursday, there was choir practice at the church. Gilbertson said, Have a hot bath before you go to bed. I had a hot bath. <sighs> then I went to bed. I dreamt I was in a bubble.
the bubble burst. <coughs> and I woke up. <sighs> and didn't know what to say. Neither did Lucy. Then on Friday, they just looked at each other. I, I read really Julian a bedtime story. You're not supposed to see me. I'm invisible. Or should be. You see, I've lost my mind. That's what you need, said Sarah. A bedtime story. Said Barnaby. At Maybe bedtime, Sarah read me a story. I saw you in the shop. The waiter looked up. The shop. Before she had finished it, I fell fast asleep and didn't wake up until morning. On Saturday, I was my old self again. Once I'd had a good sleep, I was ready to start on my rounds again. Pat. Letter. Cup. Help me to read these words. Pat, that's me. Cup. Letter. Bag. How did you get on? Morning, Pat. He can run fast, that dog of yours. 
Yes, he's a good sheep dog. <laughs> he's chasing rabbits again, I should think. I wish I could run that fast. So do I. That reminds me of the time that three of my wishes nearly came true. Oh, what's that? One day, when I was on my rounds, I saw a bird up in the sky. I wish I could fly, I said. Then I saw Katie and Tom. Katie was on her swing. Would you like a turn? said Tom. Thanks, I said. Off I went. Up in the sky. I'm flying, I said. Like a bird said Tom. Nearly, I said. Time to be on our way, Jess, I said. Then I saw a squirrel. It ran up a tree. I wish I could climb a tree like that, I said. Then I saw Lucy. She was crying. What's wrong? I said. My kite, said Lucy. I'll get it down, I said. I climbed the tree. It took a long time. I nearly fell. said Lucy. Ow! 
I said. It was a very prickly tree. Ouch! I said. But I got Lucy's kite. Down I came. Time to be on our way, Jess, I said. What a hot day, I said to Jess. I stopped by the lake. I watched the fish in the water. I wish I could swim like that, I said. Then I saw Ted out for a swim. in, said Ted. It's nice and cool. But I haven't got any trunks, I said. I'll lend you some, said Ted. I went in the water. Jess stayed on dry land. Come on, said Ted. It's easy. I splashed about. Help! I said. Ted pulled me out. Ah. Mm. Ah. You'll have to learn, said Ted. Then you'll swim like a fish. I'm not sure, I said. But I'm nice and cool. Time to be on our way, Jess, I said. Isn't that strange? In a way, your wishes came true.
Let's see, what were your three wishes again? First, I saw a bird. Bird. I wish I could fly, I said. Then I saw a squirrel climbing a tree. Squirrel? Tree. I wish I could climb a tree like that, I said. Later, I saw a fish in the water. Fish! Water. I wish I could swim like that, I said. Then you wished you could run as fast as my dog. <laughs> yes, I did, but I don't know how that could happen to you. Time to be on my way. It's time to go home. Cheerio! Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them, maybe. You can never be sure there'll be knock, ring, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man.